remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. been here as an administrator for 16 years um, because it was it was kind of a it was forced on us you know sometimes when things are forced on you you have to make changes and you have to do things that are hard and you have to step up and you have to show courage and bravery and you have to do all of those things and this year as we started one of the very first things we had to do as a staff and with the faculty and teachers was to take a good, hard look at everything we could do to provide for your children this year. And I think we need to take a moment to thank our faculty, our staff, and our teachers for the bravery and the courage that they showed this year in making sure that our children were taught and had education this year. Teachers, please stand and look to the faculty that you can stand. Thank you. Not only did they have to show bravery and courage, but you as parents and you in the community had to show the same thing. You had to trust us with your children. You had to trust us when we didn't know what we were doing. When we looked at each other in our meetings and we said, I don't know what to think. I don't know what this means, right? We had those moments. We all had those moments this year. But as we experienced those moments, we stood together. And our parents stepped up to meet the call as well. Because if we couldn't have trusted our parents and our community to tell us the truth, to send their kids when they were well, and to keep them home when they were having symptoms and things like that, if, if we couldn't trust that, we couldn't have done what we did this year. And so I would like the parents to please stand so we can thank you for the difference you made this year. Please stand if you're one of our parents. Thank you. And students, 
this will be one of those uh, special days that you remember all your life, but it will be even more special knowing the history of what we have come through. And I remember at the very beginning of this, this pandemic that we traveled through together, um, our teachers and staff made a video. And one of the things that I put on that video was that I hope that you're journaling. I hope that you're, whether it's electronically or whether you're writing a journal or a diary, whatever you might call it, I hope that you put this down. I hope you wrote it down that way you would remember it. You'd be able to share that story with your own family, your own children someday. Because it is history that you've seen and you have been a part of. And you were brave. You were brave to come to school. You were brave to face whatever obstacles might be in your way, and you did it. And you were positive about it. And so, like I said, even though in 16 years we've had wonderful groups of kids go through here, and, and I don't mean to take away from any single one of those groups, this year was special in so many ways because through adversity we still found a way to pull together and do what was right and to be brave and courageous together. And that is something special, and I hope you remember that for all of your life. So with that being said, I would like to introduce Mr. Mike Wigapolin. He's our board president, and he will introduce to you the Grand Ridge Board of Education. Welcome everyone this evening. We finally got air conditioning for graduation. <laughs> The one's been asking for it for 20 some years, and we got it. So thank you all for coming. Just to echo Ted's acknowledgments, uh, our staff here, the teachers, parents, my fellow board members, everyone worked together as a community to get this most difficult year behind us. And uh, not enough words to go around to thank everybody for all the little things that were done behind the scenes, all the things that we had to adapt for. These kids have probably adapted more in their short lives than a lot of us ever have in our somewhat longer lives. So thank you all again for your support. We're going to get through this next year, hopefully in a much easier life. With that said, I'd like to acknowledge my fellow board members, uh, George Lukacs, the current vice president of the board. <laughs> Kate Jigley, new and elected member. Kate's also been very involved in Foosters and Parents Club, so we're glad to have her on board with us. Mr. Rich Fry, which is a almost 20 year board member and former president who led us through this last couple of years and uh, wore him out, so he handed the baton back to me. <laughs> so, Mary Domelesny, we have Kayla Simons. A new elected board member, so thank you. And we have John Lebelski, another new board member. It's nice to see that we have some young people in the community stepping forward. Uh, us old guys like me have been around a long time, and we really want to see this school continue to flourish and the young ideas that these folks can help bring us, so thank you all. And I'd like to acknowledge one of our recently retired board members, Mr. Ken Bernard, who was a board member for 20 years. Uh, Ken was outstanding as a board member, gave tireless amounts of time and effort, and he'll probably be mad at me for acknowledging him, but he deserves it, and uh, he's a great friend and a great board member, and. We all thank him very much. And uh, we had two other outgoing board members, Christine Christensen and uh, Fran Swellers. So thank you all for your support again. And 
will move forward with these ceremonies. At this time, Mr. Ahern will come forward to issue the Scholastic Honors. Good evening. I am Terry Ahern, the principal of Grand Ridge District 95. I also would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony honoring this class 2021. At this time, I would like to call your attention to the students whose names are marked by an asterisk in your program. This designates our honor students who have maintained a 3.5 grade point average for their junior high career. The students have been awarded with medals. Would the honor students please stand and be recognized? Thank you. you Maybe seated. This year, there are 10 eighth graders who have achieved the distinctive honor of receiving the President's Education Award. President Biden has sent a letter which I will read to congratulate the students. Congratulations on receiving 2021 President's Education Award. America is a country where we are one and unite through tough times. You are the future leaders of this great nation, and through the determination to push forward, you will have reached this ultimate accomplishment of being recognized for this prestigious award. Dr. Biden and I are pleased to congratulate you on receiving the 2021 President's Education Award. We are honoring, honored to join your family, friends, school, and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. Jill and I send our best wishes and blessings. Keep challenging yourselves, be kind, and while we continue to fight COVID-19 pandemic, be sure to wear your mask. President Joe Biden. The students are being presented with a certificate, a pin, and a pen set for their accomplishment. It is my honor to introduce them in alphabetical order. I would ask that you please come forward when I call your name. Blaze Bresnan. Clifton Bush. Kaylin <laughs> Rosebeck. <laughs> Stephen Halada. Leah Crowley. <laughs> Levi Lab. <laughs> Nolan Luca. Annika Nicholas.
this time, I would like to recognize Jacob Ross as this year's Spelling Bee winner. Jacob, please come forward to meet you. This prestigious award is sponsored by the Star of Rock Region of Illinois Principals Association. Each year, two students are selected, one male and one female, from the school's exiting grade. These students are selected and voted on by staff. The student recogni recognition exemplifies qualities that reflect at the attributes and characteristics that define Grand Ridge Elementary School and the school community. The staff at Grand Ridge Grade School feels that these two students have demonstrated honesty, care, hardworking, and dedication characteristics while attending Grand Ridge Grade School. Will Blaze Bresner and Shailen Grofeck please come forward to the seat. recognizes a student to receive the LaSalle County School Student Excellence Award. This award recognizes a student on the following criteria. Demonstrates and contributes community service in their respective school districts. Portrays an image of social and civic responsibility within the school community. Possesses an attitude to good work ethic and represents it, representation of an image of commendable within the community. The recipient of the Student Excellence Award to the LaSalle County Board is Levi Lodge. Thank you guys, please come forward to be seated. Each year, an eighth grader is nominated for the Sarah Award. This candidate should exhibit traits such as loving and caring nature towards others, kind and gentle person, be respectful and well-mannered, should have a positive attitude, and be generous. This year's recipient of the Sarah Udis Award is Malachi Williams. Malachi. Sets a good example for others, trustworthy, shows kindness towards others, will try to do their best, treats people the way they want to be treated, uses self-control when faced with adversity, and who is accountable for their words, actions, and attitude. It is now my pleasure to award this to Annika McCoy. created in memory of a past graduate of Grand Ridge Grade School. This graduate lost his life this past year due to COVID. I was approached by his family shortly after his death asking what type of reward or memorial could be given out in his memory of this individual. Without any delay in thinking about it, what it could be, I stated that it should be based on perseverance and humility. 
I was able to give the family a quick answer to the criteria because I had known this individual very well and the character characteristics that he portrayed. 38 years ago, I sat next to this individual. On my eighth grade graduation, I from Grand Ridge Grace, so just like you. His name was Earl Bernard. Earl was a student that always tried his best. Earl was a student that had good character. And most importantly, Earl was humble. He did not like the center of attention. All of you sitting in the room gowns worked very hard this year, especially. You were terrific leaders for the K through seventh grades throughout the entire school year. I wish that I could give the Earl Bernard Award to all of you for your total perseverance throughout this year and all that you have gone through. There, are no, there were no complaints to me about why we had to do some of the things that we did. Wear masks, be six feet apart, no recess, no complaints. We just did. The administration and faculty are very thankful for your hard work and your dedication not only yourself, but to the other students in this grade school. Your next chapter will come with challenges. Although you may not have known Earl, my hope is that when you reach those challenges, that you think about the perseverance of Earl. Dig down deep to overcome your challenge, and be humble in all your successes. One person that stands out for this award to me is a person that does not like a lot of attention on himself, but always does his best and is well known for his manners and humbleness. On behalf, on behalf of the entire Bernard family, I would like to ask Caden Walter to come forward to receive. Board President Mike Wigapullen, members of the Grand Ridge School Board, the eighth grade class has met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the State of Illinois and by Grand Ridge Community Consolidated School District number 95. Just the front row, please. Stand. <laughs> we didn't get a lot of time to practice that. Madison Carmela Appleby. James Richard Bresner. Clifton Wade Bush III. Evelyn Sarah Grady. Andrew Christopher Rick. Shailen Marie Roosevelt. <laughs> Stephen Edward Palladio. <laughs> Mason Paul Jiggly. Presented the diploma to Jiggly Rosenberg. Owen David Pearson. <laughs> Leah Ruth Crowley.
Levi Zane Lash. George Nolan Lukash. The winner will be George Lukash. Annika Lorraine Nicholas. <laughs> Liam Wallace O'Connor. <laughs> Not here this evening is Olita Lynn Orsberg. Emma Madison Rambo. <laughs> Unable to be here this evening is Alex Rodriguez Hammond. <laughs> Next is Kyle Rodriguez Hammond. Jacob Eli Ross. <laughs> Eli. Landon Matthew Saul. <laughs> Lisa Noel Saul. Alexa Shelton. <laughs> Alan Joseph Spencer. Tony Viola Stell. <laughs> Anna Christine Swango. <laughs> Alan James Trumbull. Jace White. <laughs> Hayden Kevin Walter. <laughs> Malachi Damian Williams. Colin Michael Wolf. And I would like to thank everybody for congratulating me on getting a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Students, please rise. I now present to you the Grand Ridge Grade School Class of 2021. You may move your time. Once again, I'd like to thank the Grand Ridge Board of Education. I'd like to thank our parents and community members. And just a couple announcements for you. We will dismiss the students here in just a moment. They will return to the classroom where they began. Um, at that time, once they've exited, we will dismiss the parents to your cars, to your vehicles, and you may line up to 
uh, form a parade that's going to go through town. Once all the parents and uh, spectators here are in their vehicles, we will release the graduates and then we'll meet you outside so we can begin that process. Thank you again. This is a beautiful evening. We are very blessed to have this evening today and uh, very, very nice job at eighth grade. Thank you for, for a great evening.